It is currently midnight, and I never stay up to finish books by midnight, but this book drew me in so much that I read it all throughout the day and didn't finish it until now, and I had to finish it, and I couldn't fall asleep before I finished it. This is A World Without You by Beth Revis. It comes out on July 19th. I'm probably going to post this before then just because I want to share my thoughts with you guys because it was... <sighs> probably my second favorite book of the year thus far. I would go and get the um, cover slip for it, but it's downstairs, and honestly, I've been too scared to go downstairs because this book has been so intense. My heart is actually, like, hurting. I have to focus on my breathing sometimes because it was just very intense. And it's weird because it wasn't intense in the way where it was, like, a psychological thriller, but it was definitely thrilling and it definitely had a lot of mentally jarring aspects as well. This book follows a boy named Bo and Bo goes to Berkshire Academy and Berkshire Academy is a mansion type boarding school for people with special needs and there's only about four people in each class and they stay with those people the entire day. It's a very close-knit school. Bo also believes that he has special abilities and Bo can travel through time. So you have that fantastical element the entire time where Bo can travel through time and you're seeing his mindset as he's traveling through time and you see everything that's going on beyond that. It's very hard to tell whether he actually has special abilities or whether he just thinks that he has special abilities and he's one of the most well done unreliable narrators that I've ever seen and this book was so incredibly well constructed and it doesn't just focus on him it focuses on the other three people that are in his classes as well and everyone's trying to deal with their own thing but of course we are focusing more on Bo and we focus on his family as well because you also get Phoebe, his sister's perspective. Phoebe at this point in time is in her junior year of high school and she's trying to get the best grades that she possibly can so she could get a scholarship and get as far away from her family as possible because everything is primarily focused on Bo all of the time. And because he has to go to a specialized school, unfortunately they don't have enough payment for her to just go to college on her own, so she feels this need to be the top of everything all the time and to be super impressive because all of the attention is on Bo constantly. I thought having her point of view in there was so completely important and I'm so glad that Beth Revis put that other perspective in there because that was the one that I feel like most people can relate to and it's very very important to have that relatable aspect especially when you're having all these fantastical elements in there as well. I don't necessarily read books with fantastical elements so I definitely appreciated that but aside from that the fantastical elements were so well done like I said this book was so well constructed it's just like every point was exactly where it needed to be all the time and because Bo thinks that he can travel through time and because he does constantly travel through time in this book it's just time is so important in here and she just handled it so well everything was just put in the exact right place he's the most unreliable character ever because he doesn't know what's real and what isn't therefore we never know what's real and what isn't and it was so unnerving and like I said I was just so scared to like move from my bed for no good reason like it wasn't <sighs> I don't even want to say that it wasn't necessarily scary because I totally thought it was terrifying in some parts, but it was terrifying in a really realistic way. As I was reading it, I just felt so incredibly grateful for the life I was given and for being born as a healthy human being and just so grateful for the life that I have at the moment. I've been feeling kind of cranky the past week and kind of burnt out and also I had to go to the doctor because I wasn't feeling physically well and I think I was just like taking that to the extreme and just making myself feel more cranky because of that but god my life could be so much worse and you can say like obviously this is a fictional tale but it could so easily be someone's reality and so that was that is what's terrifying to me is that this could be somebody's reality and it's not mine and I'm so incredibly grateful for that. So that book made me feel that and it was an intense feeling. Another thing that I loved about this book, which I love when YA books do this, when YA books don't do this, they will automatically be like never a five star book for me. But when a book actually has their climax within the 90% part of the book, when there's only about 90% left and then the climax hits, perfect. 
please give me any book like that ever. With this book, I was on the edge the entire time and I didn't realize that I was in the climax until it actually happened and I was like, oh my god, I only have like 20 pages left in this book. And that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. If a climax happens and you still have like 70 pages left in the book, where does it go from there? So like I said before, so well constructed. I personally think that if any of you have read We Were Liars, and I know that this was a very polarizing book, some people loved it and some people hated it. If you were one of the people that loved it, I think that you would really, really enjoy this book. Just because of the unreliable characters and because of the vagueness throughout the entire thing, you just, you don't know. It's good, it's really good. And it was my first Beth Revis book too, so I'm so glad that it was so good. I'm gonna link my uh, review down below of this book, which I think was like from two years ago, just so you could get a good idea of like how this one could compare to this one. But yes, I would highly recommend picking it up. Like I said, it comes out July 19th, so put it on that Amazon wish list, or you know, go to a local bookstore, because that's probably better. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great day and a great week. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to sleep now, but um, I will see you guys very soon. Bye!